Okay, go ahead. Good girl. Hi. Why don't you like lay down? Good morning. You did just see me feed my dog in my new apartment. Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, hi. Oh my God, it's so early. My brain's not working yet. It's like 8.30, which I guess would be considered early, but it's definitely really early for me. But as you can see, I got a dog. I feel like it seems very random, but this was a work in progress for over a year now we i've been thinking about getting a dog and you know it just never felt like the right time a couple months ago me and my mom really started looking and we found her and we brought her home her name is coda starting with a c you know because like me and my mom we start with a c apparently we're the kardashians a pitbull weimaraner mix Sorry, I don't really know how to do this because I feel like most people when they get a dog or they move, they do an entire video on the process of getting their dog, like their first week and all that. Same with apartments. Hi, oh, baby. No, this is mine. Hi. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, honey. I'm doing something. Anyway. No. But anyway, um, I did none of those things. I got a dog and I moved in. <laughs> that was just it. Getting her, it was a very quick process. We had applied for her on a Thursday. We met and brought her home that Sunday. I would have started it if I knew we were going to meet and bring her home on Sunday. I didn't think we were just because a lot of the places had said you may or may not get a response just because they had high volumes of applications. They actually called us when we were, well, in line, but we were sitting in our car in line to see another dog. They called us and said, hey, like, we'd love for you to come meet her, see if it's a good fit. And we were like, oh, okay. And then 20 minutes later, the shelter we were at to visit this other dog called and said, hey, like, sorry, some, oh my God. Okay. I know, you wanna get under the covers, go ahead. You're so needy. With your butt on my pillow. Why are you licking my knee? Ugh. But while we were in line, they called us and said someone that was before us decided to adopt it, the, adopt that dog. Yeah, so it was almost like fate that we were supposed to have her. We weren't sure if we were gonna bring her, so we only bought a few things, and that's why her food bowl, as you saw, is that cheap blue looking bowl, which, I mean, who cares? It's a bowl, she doesn't care, she doesn't know the difference, she just eats out of it. But for me, I like things matching, that doesn't quite match yet, so I'm gonna get her a new bowl. The shelter was explained to us before we got her, and we quickly saw when we brought her home that she does have a lot of anxiety. So I didn't want to make it worse by putting a camera in her face and stuff, just kind of keeping the environment really calm and quiet. Her story was, I guess, the person that brought her, brought her to the vet was saying that she had been living out on the street for the past year. And I guess the way the person was explaining it, it felt really weird so they think it was more of a the person was bringing her in to surrender her and didn't want to say that which we kind of believe because there's a lot of things that you would think that a stray dog would be afraid of like the vacuum cleaner most dogs in general are just afraid of the vacuum cleaner she could care less it's like the white noise and she knew how to like sit lay down she kind of knew stay a little bit and wait. So it was like clear she had some training. It's kind of aloof with people, which like same girl until she gets to know them, then she's like more comfortable. Sometimes she gets overexcited and might try to jump, but um, when you correct her, she's, she corrects pretty easily. But it's just with other dogs, she's very nervous. So whoever had her before, I think did just did not socialize her very well. It's super anxious and you can tell that she gets on high alert when she sees another dog. That is something we are currently working on with her. I'm gonna have to get a trainer for sure. She's never growled, thankfully. If the other dog starts barking, she'll kind of like puff. Like she doesn't fully bark. She's actually doing really, really well. Now she mostly just reacts if the other dog is reacting. If we walk away and tell her to focus and keep walking, she's pretty. she's gotten pretty good at doing that. Oh, and then she also has separation anxiety. 
we've had her for two months now so the last two months have really just been like working on her and like trying to alleviate some of the anxiety doing a lot of research and trying to find a trainer uh so yeah it's been a long two months she's come a long way she definitely still has a long way to go but other than that she's a really chill dog like she's high energy but as long as you get her on her walk she's pretty set like once you get in the house she's fine but she's adjusted pretty fast we've been here for about a week and a half and she's doing all right she just kind of looks out the window sorry i feel like this is very long but i didn't have a video just on her to really explain it it feels weird to just all of a sudden have a video that there's now this dog and i'm in a new apartment and not explain it as far as moving to seattle i think i've said that in a couple videos that i was moving here so i mean there's really not much of an explanation for that i'll show you the apartment later but right now it's very early i've been taking her out in the mornings just to go to the bathroom and then coming back in and as you saw I gave her her breakfast gave her her trazodone usually wait about an hour and a half and then i'll take her on her a longer walk i'm just gonna sit here drink my latte i don't know why i just kind of woke up and wanted to film today and bring you along with me a day in the life now that i have a dog <laughs> i'll see you then hey guys it's been like an hour sorry it's kind of dark it's very overcast i was gonna walk her but i think i waited too long she keeps <laughs> Coming back to bed. We gotta go on a walk. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, at least we know she likes the water. I walked her I got back took a shower obviously did my hair because it needed to be washed and then I kind of got tired so I laid down for a couple hours but it's okay now I'm back all right I'm gonna try this I've never tried this one the same brand as earlier but this one they have cold brew that's good I like that I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit worried because it's milk and sugar but it says lactose free so the rest of the day is not going to be shitty we just made some fruit. I got, okay, off topic, but this brand, Sweet Earth, I really like their stuff. And now they have pizza. It's plant-based pepperoni. So I'm kind of excited. I really want to try this. I might do it for dinner though, but I wanted to show you this for no real particular reason other than I'm kind of excited about it. It says a lot about the excitement in my life that I'm excited about this. What I'm saying is now I'm hungry. I made fruit. I love fruit. I feel like if there was one food group that I had to live on for the rest of my life and I couldn't eat anything else, 100% be fruit. It's just so good. But yeah, I don't feel like making that pizza right now. So I'm just gonna make this kale pizza salad. Although it doesn't look like there's much kale in here. The only reason I really want this is because of the croutons in it. While I was taking a shower, I realized I haven't had like a real self-care day in a long time. So even though I have a crap ton of things, to still put away my box spring and my mattress are still on the floor making the bed frame just is not it's not super appealing right now i'm just gonna say f it i'm gonna do a self-care day yesterday with coda was a bit stressful homegirl was acting chaotic but today she's very sleepy very chill very relaxed which means i get to be very chill very relaxed i feel like something they do but also don't really tell you about getting a dog is your life is now the dog's life revolving around her relaxed chill day apparently for her today I'm gonna do the same. But first, I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna do that on camera. It would just be a clip of me just eating in silence. And that's weird. <laughs> I need a face mask because I'm starting to break out a little bit. Do my skincare, because I haven't done my skincare in a while at one in the afternoon. <laughs> just chill. I don't really know what else to do on a self-care day. Maybe I'll make that pizza. Whatever, I'm gonna go finish my lunch. I'm back. So I did change.
haircut. I love her so much. <laughs> my eyebrows are so red right now because I just did them before I got on. I did them off camera because I don't really know how to explain how I do them. I don't do much. I just tweeze the very obvious hairs and then I use one of these to really clean the edges and stuff. And then I use these little scissors, the little spoolie. Oh, I just stab my finger. Um, but I use the spoolie to pull them up a little bit and then I trim them with this. Yeah, other than that, I don't really know how to explain it, so. Today, I'm gonna use this one. It's the Chill Out Face Mask for Stress Skin because I'm a stressed gal. I'm also gonna use this Under Eye Emergency Repair Mask because I want to. And then I'm also gonna use their Lip Mask because I am dehydrated and my lips are dry. But instead of drinking water, I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put them all on at once because all of them you leave on for 20 minutes i have just been obsessed with face masks lately there's something so luxurious about it like you just feel good oh my god that feels so good i cannot wait to put all these on and then just lay on my bed and feel the breeze so i'm gonna put the lip one on first and then i'll do the face one. Oh wait there's a little hole for tucking this is terrifying. Twenty minutes later. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Taking that off, my face has never felt this soft. <laughs> hi, Coda. Oh, hi, Baba. God, I just love <clears throat> so much. But yeah, my face is so soft. It kind of makes me wish I did this <laughs> before bed instead of in the middle of the day. But dang, man. I need to do face masks more often. <laughs> what? All right. The first thing I'll go in with is my ordinary niacinamide. Don't ask me what it is, because I don't actually know. I think it's good for blemishes. I haven't really seen much of a difference, but I feel like I can't stop using it. My hair is starting to look a little crazy. I'm feeling very judged. Hi. Tell me that's not the face of judgment. Now she's chicken legging. <laughs> there she goes. Okay. Next, I go in my, my CeraVe SA cream. Okay. And then I go in with... Again, CeraVe, but this is just the regular moisturizing cream. Cause again, I'm dehydrated. Tell me she doesn't look like royalty. <laughs> I feel so judged. Okay, all right. I mean, that's all I have. <laughs> what the hell is that? The only thing that's missing is I'll usually use the Ordinary's Rose rose hip oil and then put sunscreen on uh i don't have any more of either of those yeah that's all i'm doing for face that's it all the face is done i do have like this strange motivation to clean and i can tell i definitely need a vacuum i got freaking coda's fur all over my carpet i've got pieces of her rope because for some reason she likes to bring her rope into my room and chew it. We'll give her a treat out there. She literally will run from there into my room and chew it. <laughs> this went from a self-care day to a chore day. I need to maybe like Swiffer and mop my the hardwood floor. Basically do everything but put the stuff away that I need to put away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna clean. <laughs> Through my hair up. Ignore all that. It's there's a lot of cleaning that we need to do. But before I even vacuum my room, 
I'm just gonna give her her treat now. All right, let's see if she'll do it. There you go. Yep. Oh, she went, nope. There she goes. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. 